Hello there, humans of El Paso. It is I, Hamlet. You might have seen me around the shelter, and while I may be a cat of a few words, I have a very important topic to discuss with you this month, which is why I've taken over the Purrorcast for April. Since spring is upon us, we are going to be talking about all things feline in this episode. But before we get started, let's take a look at the live release rate for the month of March. Last month, Animal Services had a live release rate of 92.53%. This is our highest live release rate that we've ever achieved. It's with some of the many new programs that we've implemented since starting our life-saving journey in 2016 that we have been able to save thousands of cat lives. Just a few years ago, the cats that came into our care were actually the population that were euthanized the most. The community cat program that started in 2016 has made great strides in saving our feline friends, and Karen is here to tell you more. So the community cat program is a program we have for free roaming cats. If they have no owner, no identification, we alter them by spaying or neutering them, we vaccinate them, and we tip their right ear, and we return them to the location they come for. It came about because the public was outraged at the high number of euthanizations on free roaming and feral cats. So this, we expanded the TNR program to include all areas of El Paso, including El Paso County. Ultimately, when we did trap and euthanize, it was proven ineffective. It created what's called a vacuum effect. You can take out the whole colony from the neighborhood, but a whole new colony is gonna come in. So this was a much more humane way for the cats to just continue their existence and living on the streets. So the community cat program is, we do need the help of the public. All they need to do is you trap the cat and you can bring it to the shelter. We accept cats Sunday through Thursday from 11 to 6. We will spay or neuter the cat. We'll vaccinate it with rabies, FERCP. We tip the right ear for identification purpose and the cat gets to go back to its home. For a truly feral cat, the streets are gonna be their home. Obviously, they're not adoptable. There is no charge for the program. It's free to anyone who participates in the program. With it being breeding season already upon us, you're gonna start seeing a lot of litters born. Please, if you see a mother with kittens, please don't leave the kittens alone. Mom will take care of the kittens. Um, when the kittens get older, about eight weeks of age, please, at that time, go ahead and get the kittens and the mother and bring them in to the shelter and we'll take care of getting them spayed or neutered and vaccinated. As Karen mentioned, it's extremely important to remember that if you come across a litter of kittens, don't pick them up. Instead, what we recommend is to put a ring of baking flour around where the kittens are resting. More than likely, mom is not too far off either looking for food or keeping an eye on her babies from a safe distance. Check back a few times throughout the day and if you see footprints in the flour, that means mom has been back to check on them. Kittens need their moms to grow into healthy, happy cats, which is why it is best to leave them with their moms until they are of age to be spayed and neutered. However, we do still have motherless kittens coming into our care, and our foster coordinator, Valentine, is here to explain how you can help save their little lives. Our foster program is a program to where our community helps us take animals from our shelter that are in need. They're either underage, they're sick, or injured and then a little bit of time away from the shelter in order for them to be ready to be adopted out. They'll take them, bring them back once they're ready for the adoption, and then we adopt them out from here. It is very important as this is what we use now to save all of the lives that, that are coming in. We give every single kitten and puppy an opportunity to survive and have a, a home, for a forever home. Uh, without them, we wouldn't be able to reach our goal of a 90% uh, live release rate by 2020. With no foster program, kittens, they were underage, kittens without mom, that we couldn't have, couldn't take care of them because we didn't have the staff or we didn't have the time to take care of them, we would end up euthanizing. Um, or they're too young, we didn't have to, if they're sick and we couldn't treat them, we didn't have the time to treat them, we would end up euthanizing them. And with our foster program now, that el eliminates it completely out of the option on there. So we have the option to give them the opportunity to live. All of our fosters are provided with food, uh, any items such as litter, uh, litter boxes, uh, vaccines, medical care, medicine is all included. So it's never a cost for you to foster. The only time that it costs or it may cost you just a little bit is if you decide to adopt one of these pets. Then you just pay our low uh, adoption fees and you take a, another member home. Once those kittens graduate from foster care, they're ready to find forever homes. If you've thought about maybe adopting a cat or kitten, we're here to help. You can adopt a kitty seven days a week at our shelter, and we also have cats available for adoption at Petco stores around El Paso as well. Don't forget, cat adoptions are free every Friday too. 
Well, that does it for us in this special feline edition of the Animal Services Purrcast. Remember, you can find all this information and more on our new website anytime at www.elpasoanimalservices.org. Thank you for always being a friend and a partner to El Paso Animal Services as we push no kill off the table. I mean, push closer to no kill because together we will save more lives.